Happy birthday! No! I can't believe you're aging up to a young adult guys into the future is so close i can taste it we are so close this is like the next big step happy birthday so their last trait which it might change coward <laughs> so they're gonna be ambitious eco-friendly great because they're socially awkward and a coward i feel like noel would be the most awkward person in real life maybe coward makes sense Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise Leprosy Challenge. This, guys, is episode 40. Episode 40. Can we believe it? We are five episodes away from finishing Island Paradise. I can't believe it, but we have a beautiful sunset here at the resort. And in the last episode, if you missed it, I unveiled what I've been working on. And that was this boardwalk, which was attached or is attached, not was, <laughs> like was attached, like I detached it. No, um, it is currently attached to our resort. So uh, here's the resort over here. It's still looking a little bit, eh, like, I don't know what I want to do with it. Something is not up, like, right with it. Like, I don't know what it is. If anyone knows, I think it's something to do with this building right here. I kind of do like this building because it, like, has a nice transition from the front of the resort to the back of the resort where the beach is but there's definitely something wrong here with the resort i don't know what it is if anyone has any ideas please leave it in the comment section below but you guys speaking of feedback you guys gave me some really good constructive criticism some really good recommendations so one of you said to add some like plants and stuff around the boardwalk so i did that i added some palm trees and then another one of you said to add the carousel if I wanted to have more like carnival stuff but I don't think we have enough space actually where this boardwalk ends on both sides in the back this is as far as I can push it out like this is the end of the lot this is where the lot stops so there's not really any more room to kind of push it out I think that is all that I wanted to say but yeah really nice sunset here oh and also I did connect both the restaurant and the boardwalk like I said I was going to so I did that off camera as well oh and the biggest thing probably I'm sure you guys noticed is I changed the color of the roller coaster. I'm not sure why over here. I think it might be the lighting. Um, or did I just forget to change that part? I think I might have just forgot to change that part. And I was like, hey, it's just the lighting. No, I, I physically... Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I should stop doubting myself. Yeah, because I didn't forget. It was just a weird lighting glitch. Okay, cool. So also in the last episode, which isn't so cool, is Meadow died like in the first couple seconds. Funeral service at River Taylor was hosting is over. These things are never fun, but this one got the job done. Oh, he's still crying. He's still mourning the loss of his mother. I'm sure they're all gonna be crying for quite some time we're gonna send river and martina on home here speaking of river and martina we do need to get them married at some point in this lp um but we have five episodes left so i'm really i'm not that concerned like timing wise if we need to get it done skip is also very 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 due to die like he cannot have much time left seriously he's he's got to be hanging on f by a thread here we do have some food that is catered to leftover so i'm gonna have skip go and grab some we're gonna have ash go and grab some when he gets home i'm not sure why he's wearing lipstick in his career attire his, his work attire oh he wants to become friends with his big brother cool river yes let's do that now in this episode ash and noel are both going to age up so we need to make sure that noel knows how to drive by that point because their father really wanted them to learn and Nola's really close actually to learning how to drive so we will go ahead and teach them probably tomorrow in game actually tomorrow is a Monday which means Nola's gonna be at school all day so maybe uh, Nola's way too tired to do it when they get home so it's definitely gonna have to be tomorrow after school I'm just gonna have to be really persistent okay I know you're tired Ash I know just go grab some dinner look at he keeps doing the same animation over and over and over again are you okay buddy also i have no idea what this career outfit is i've i don't know why i gave him this but this is the ugliest effing thing i think i've ever seen that is the ugliest effing skirt i've ever seen what the actual fuck is that outfit like seriously what the fuck is that i'm gonna have skip go upstairs he's not very tired i'm not gonna go do the laundry in the house because the house is very very dirty so we'll go and take care of that and then we'll also send noel back over to the main house so 
that we can get them off to bed. They have a very busy day tomorrow with their birthday and going to school and all these kind of different things that are being thrown at them in this episode. So let's have them go on home here. The classical music is actually really nice. I'm like vibing to it high key. I'm having Skip just pick up all the clothes because the basket is full, which means that the clothes aren't going to be able to go in there. The classical music is just really a straight up vibe, I won't even lie. Ash is eating some stuffed turkey up here and wow, it looks like Kai actually tore the fuck out of this chair. So why don't we just go ahead and replace it? Actually, I can't replace it. Why can't I replace it? Is it because Ash is sitting on it or what? Why, did, why do I have to deal with that chair? Hello, whatever. All right, we're just gonna send Ash off to bed here. Just go to sleep. And we need to do the same with Noel because Noel also has lots to do tomorrow, lots of obligations lots of things lots of fun i wonder what river and martina are doing i can only i can only guess honestly oh i was actually surprised wait why is martina in her sleepwear oh they're both crying okay i think they're very sad they don't they don't, they don't want to woohoo tonight they, they normally do like a nightly woohoo but uh i guess not tonight you know it's the, the vibes are the vibes are off still from meadow's death so oh my god no drowning what get out of the water you stupid ass what are you doing you are so goddamn dumb noel seriously why are you trying to swim Swim when you are tired. Also, in the next generation, I don't even honestly know if I want to add Island Paradise in because it just creates a bunch of more problems than it solves. So I think I'm going to take Island Paradise out, actually. This was not one of my more favorite generations that I played. Although the additions of Island Paradise are really cool, it's just they were not implemented well. Like, my game is freezing every couple seconds. Where We have another long freeze here, which is just, I don't have, like, I, I have to go to class in, like, an hour. I physically do not have the time to deal with these freezes. So I think what we're gonna do is the next generation, we play the final expansion pack in the future. I'm just gonna cut out all the stuff that I don't use. I might even take out ambitions, honestly, because I mean, ambitions, we're not really doing anything pertinent to ambitions. So yeah, Gina Drag was the one just completely clogging up my game. That's nice to know. Anyway, everyone's sleeping right now. Definitely need to, when they wake up, get Noel ready for school. And then when they actually get home, like the moment that they get home, I hope they don't have work tomorrow. They do actually have work tomorrow, six to nine. So they're gonna have to take the day off. Now, Noel actually was working out pretty high in the mausoleum as like a mausoleum clerk, the part-time mausoleum job. They were actually pretty successful. Like there's only three levels to it and they got level two, up to level two, and they were starting to get level three. So this plane going by overhead, it's super loud. Big ones, the big planes are always super loud when they go by my school. It's really, really annoying. <laughs> I don't even address that anymore because it's just like, what am I supposed to do about it? It's just like a eight seconds of just pure, unadulterated, loud, blowing noises. Blowing noises? That sounds really wrong. Don't take them the wrong way. Okay, it sounds like something is being blown on. All right, that I'm just digging myself a hole. I'm going to shut up now. So back here at the main house, Skip is currently... I'm just having him hang out with Kai because she's in a horrible mood. Um, I think she needs food in her dish or something like that. Like, I don't know what's going on, but she can't access. No, she has plenty of food in her dish. So why is she starving? Like, what? I don't understand this game sometimes. And one of the things I hate about the houseboats too is that in order for Kai to interact with anybody, they both mutually, both the cat and the humans, they have to both mutually go downstairs. And it is like so annoying that I have to do it that way, but... It's fine, I guess. I'm gonna turn the music off because it's 5.30 in the morning and I think Ash would be hearing it from his room. So um, yeah, definitely don't want him to wake up. That'd be bad. Noel and Ash are both not very well rested, but I mean, considering they worked all last night, they got pretty high up for the rest. So I'm fine with that. They're just gonna have a super busy day. At school today and then the moment the moment that noel gets home from school we are definitely going to have to have river go ahead and teach their child to drive i think what i'm gonna do actually is have ash go ahead and drive them to school today we're gonna give him the car and we're gonna have noel head on over to there would that be their uncle i think that's their uncle and ash will drive the both of them to school so we'll do it that way uh, my game is frozen again i don't know why it's lagging so fucking hard right now like it really definitely needs a reset but i just can't i, I physically do not have time like i have class in a couple of minutes or a couple like less than an hour so i really have to get this part just like up and recorded anyway i'm gonna send noel over to the main house and we'll have them go with their uncle to school. I hope the bus doesn't try and drag them like 
on the bus, I guess, so to say. Um, we're gonna have Ash go ahead and take a shower. Skip took care of the little kitty, Kai. Her energy is pretty full now. She definitely needs to scratch something. I'm gonna have her go and eat from her bowl. And then I'm gonna have Skip go ahead and do the laundry. I don't know where he put that giant thing of laundry because I definitely was having him try and take care of it. But I guess, oh my God, we're making less money now. One of you said that it's because I removed the wedding arch. I'm making a lot less money and the people aren't liking it as much, which is so stupid because I added a whole fucking carnival and now the people don't even, like they don't, they don't, the Sims are not cognizant of that. And it really pisses me off because we physically, I don't even think there's enough room to put anything else in this resort. Like I took up the whole ocean space with the, with the carnival let's see what people are saying though i i put so much fucking work into making this resort good with that carnival and it's great to see that the game isn't even like cognizant of the fact that i did all that which is just great um that's one of the big things oh we're at four stars now okay i gotta stop bitching and complaining so the the boardwalk i think it takes like a day or so to catch up but someone almost rated it four and a half stars also when you said to change the resort staff like i have all resort staff so maybe you didn't see that part but yeah we have um all high quality upkeepers so i'm not sure like maybe you didn't see that or whatever but uh yeah we we do have we we do in fact have all the high quality maintenance crew and everything's like as high as it can go all right everything's as high as it can go so i mean i guess i could change the price of how much it costs to stay here my game stores in again cool love that it's like micro freezes also i have a feeling it has to do with my recording program streamlabs obs um i definitely think it has something to do with that so i'm gonna minimize streamlabs and we'll just we'll, we'll see we'll see here i gotta keep an eye on my time though because i really do have to go to class today i'm gonna have ash drive uh Noel and them off to school where the hell is the school in this world why can i not find it oh it's over here i'm like completely glazing over it um so yeah we'll have them just go ahead and visit this lot with Noel. let's go on over there hopefully the bus doesn't try and drag them like on the bus because that would be very unfortunate did skip take care of that laundry i have to cue them like several times to go ahead and do it perfect he did do the laundry all right i'm gonna have skip go and take care of the house a little bit and then he needs to go back to bed because he didn't get a full night's rest i don't know why i think it's maybe because my game was lagging so much as i was like zooming through the night that my sims aren't getting their full motives up there's like a little bit of motive lag i don't know this pack would be so perfect if it didn't have so many problems like so many glitches and whatever um why did you just cancel that out no you need to go with your uncle what the fuck the game canceled it out no 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 come back come back go here go there go go everywhere martina wants to get a tattoo i can totally do that with her that seems like a cute idea i'm not even sure if there's like a stylist place in this in this town oh my god why did he just go this game is genuinely so annoying i'm gonna be very ready to get rid of island paradise out of the game it causes more issues than it's fucking worth i will say all right so we're gonna now we are going to go and visit this lot i just want ash to drive the both of them like i hate that this game works how it does like it has just it has problems all right it has problems and it wasn't the problems weren't so prominent in the in the couple earlier packs i think one of the things i've really realized there we go we finally got them together in the car one of the things i really realized is the first few packs in the sims 3 were really solid like word adventures was really well made ambitions was really well, well made i think everything up until late night i think late night was when the game started to get a little bit laggy why is like why is the game trying to send ash like ash and no the game is trying i think it's confused i i genuinely think that the game is confused because i have no idea why it's trying to send them home like it just it doesn't make any sense I, i'm trying to send them to school and the game is trying to send them home i i'm so i'm just aghast i'm genuinely aghast at what i'm seeing here all right let's send them both into school see if they can get uh get inside the building in a timely manner probably not because i mean my game is just hell right now in terms of lag i don't know why i think i need to do total time reset but like i said just physically I do not have the time i really need to get a video just up and recorded the game is trying to send them home once again no idea why it's doing that i think it actually might be doing that because it wants to um it wants to punish them for being late i think that's a generations thing maybe i don't, I don't know though it's very confusing also martina did, i hope she did not leave waffles in oh okay yep martina definitely left waffles in the fucking kitchen love that for me great all right i was gonna say like oh is the is the fire just stuck on um okay no we set it out all right perfect love that i spoke way too soon because that is exactly what martina did wow i am just the greatest at predicting things and this kitchen is an absolute 
just chaos area. I think what I'm gonna do is when Skip dies and Ash has no parents left, I'm gonna move Ash in with River and Martina, even if he is a little bit too old to be, like he could be on his own feasibly. Um, I'm just gonna move him in with his older brother. What we should ideally do is have them bond a little bit so it's not so weird because I don't think, yeah, they like barely know each other, which is so strange to me, but I guess in The Sims 3, relationships just decline super fast for whatever reason. I'm not sure why that is, but the game has like super i mean i guess you could retune it ideally but yeah, the game has like super high i totally forgot that jeanette him and jeanette were i'm trying was trying to make them a thing it just never ended up happening i don't know i really wanted him to become friends with jeanette but like i have him go and talk at school and they aren't the ones that communicate at school he gets it with like everyone else but jeanette so i don't know anyway river has no work today which is pretty cool uh, Martina's really just going through it at work. She set the kitchen on fire this morning, so that's just wonderful. I think what I'm gonna have River go ahead and do is we will have him go to the gym and go work out a little bit. And I'm gonna send, what is Skip doing? I forgot that Skip, I was gonna have him go to sleep and I just forgot to have him do that. So, oh, I just remembered we have Meadow's Garden up here um, that I have done nothing with. The good thing about this, all right, let's quickly have River make a little pit stop over at the main house. And because he's the plant some of course we're gonna have him just go ahead and take care of meadow's garden it just makes sense okay it just makes sense for our good old plant sim river to take care of his deceased mother's garden i'm gonna just take skips like i don't know what this is like all of his fertilizer and that sort of thing and just put it in there um just the composter and then we'll have river what was i gonna have him do right go upstairs and take care of his mom's plants and that sort of thing so we'll have him go and water them we'll have him go and use the composter it is in fact spring and in the town which is super cute first day of spring was today so wow guys we made it i don't even know how oh is that poppy who is that who is this woman over here that is mariah i don't know who that is mariah collins that sounds familiar but i don't know oh no and martina got a bad opportunity i think or bad like little work event martina was tasked with filing envelopes all day at first it was easy to zone out but after a couple of hours things really started to drag at the end of the day martina ended up with a dozen paper cuts and in a very bad mood i'm so sorry martina I know you're just going through it, but that's no excuse. You set the kitchen on fire, so that really is no excuse. What is this? River wants to upgrade a resort tower. I didn't think that we could upgrade them anymore. I thought that they were like fully upgraded. Did I not fully upgrade the resort towers? I think I did. Um, I think the game is what is this um toggle oh we can toggle spa services oh that's so cool you can turn the spa services oh we are definitely gonna do that yes 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 i definitely want to do that so now we if we click on it we can like get waxed get a massage get a facial body treatment go to the salon all this cool stuff so i definitely think we should send martina over there maybe get our nails done you know she did have a bad day at work today so maybe you gotta put her in a better mood though we do have to um maybe i shouldn't send river to the gym uh maybe actually you know what i'll do i'll have river and Noel both meet up at the gym and we will have River or Noel take the day off of work today. Be actually, I forgot you can't do that because with part-time careers, you can't take any time off for whatever reason. Ah, that's super annoying. I hate it. Anyway, let's just have River pluck these trees, get all the shit out of the tree, <laughs> all, the, all the harvestables, and then I will send Noel on over to go and meet up with their dad at the, um, at the, what's this called? The gym. Yes, the gym. Actually, you know what? Let's have Ash take Noel over to the gym uh, just because Ash has the car right now. So I think that makes sense for Ash to drive them over to the gym. And I guess River's just gonna have to take like a taxi or something like that. Now, I think what I might do is I might throw like a really just, I don't know. I don't know, I might just do a family sort of party for us tonight when I age both Ash and Noel up. I mean, I don't think it has to be like a grandiose sort of event. I'm actually going to, wait, where did the car go? I'm gonna transfer it over. I feel like we should just buy another car at this point. I don't even think this car is necessarily that expensive. This is like the only car family has though. And I'm having like everyone share between them and like dragging it between inventories. It's kind of annoying at this point, but it's fine, I guess. Both Ash and Noel are super tired over here. I'm gonna have them ask about day let's uh cheer up we're gonna console just while we're waiting for river to get over here so that they can teach noel how to drive but yeah noel will be aging up so we definitely need to make sure we get 
the party all ready and stuff like that. I think I might just do a really small family like get together. Oh, we should take Martina over to the stylist really quickly to give her a tattoo. I'm not sure where we had to go for that. There's no stylist, I don't think, here in Eyes of Paradise unless I missed it. Um, oh, there is. Okay, it's just like the, the default Barney Salon and tattoo. So we'll take Martina over there. We'll go and quickly have her get a tattoo and then we'll send her back over uh, the main house, the main houseboat I think we'll do for the birthday party just so that we can invite like Tyson and stuff like that. That is after all like the kids uncle so i think it's only necessary to invite mr tyson on over it looks like ash and noel are really getting along i really do love them and that they made like a really good i don't know it's just it's nice that they get that they grew up together and they both had somebody to like that they could rely on and that sort of thing anyways i think the car is gonna get put in this spot so we're actually gonna drag it back into river's inventory and then quickly just like super quickly i and i don't know if this is gonna work because Noel is super tired. We will try and teach him how to drive. I just, I really hope that they don't try and cancel it. That would be very unfortunate because I worked so hard getting them like to the same spots and all that stuff. I'm gonna send Ash on home now. Ash has exhausted his purpose and, oh, okay, Noel did agree to it. So let's quickly see here. Oh my God, so many Sims are getting reset. It's like every other minute I see a Sim getting reset. I don't know why. And I get like, it is accompanied by like a huge game freeze. So I'm pretty sure that that's like Sims, different Sims getting reset, whatever. Oh my God, come on, no, we don't have time for you to fucking round around, buddy. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get the show on the road. This game lagging is like wasting my fucking time. I'm just gonna cheat at this point. I really just want Noel to learn how to drive. I don't even care at this point, just go. River wanted to teach them and they are super close, just almost gonna be there. So I'm just gonna cheat their motives because at this point the, the game lag has, I would bet reduced our ability to raise up their motives and like route places in a proper amount of time let's just say it like that okay so we're gonna have martina go over and we're never go get a tattoo and hopefully uh it goes well because you can get bad tattoos i mean if the if the tattooist is like not talented enough you will get bad tattoos so we'll see how this goes i'm getting more reset sims of course we are used to it at this point i'm definitely gonna oh, okay the sim that is supposed to be tattooing martina has not even loaded they are not even in the world oh there we go no one did it congrats Congratulations, Noel! Oh my goodness, they learned how to drive. Congratulations, Noel. I am very proud of you. Now, we are quickly just gonna send everyone back on home because we have birthday parties of our air. Noel learned just before they aged up and the last minute before they aged up to drive so we are all set river did what he set out to do and he taught his child to drive so i am very proud anyway let's quickly have martina get a tattoo here and then we really oh my god can this game stop sending them off to work i'm gonna have them both just quit their jobs so that they don't try and auto go to work in the middle of all this let's just have them both quit um their mausoleum they're about to age up anyway so it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter either way all right so let's quit yes 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 can you change out of this hideous outfit this hideous work outfit that i don't know why you have that on oh my god it looks so bad and then we are also just going to invite over a bunch of people for ash and oh my god this house is a disaster room what is happening can you clean your house house up ash like you're about to have a bunch of people over where is skip is skip just like okay i can't delete it because these were from the buffet um so i'm just gonna delete all of these just like this oh my god why does it delete the food off of it instead of just deleting the whole thing what is martina doing martina i say you over there to get a stupid tattoo we're not gonna have enough time literally we have an hour okay martina i just i don't have the time to deal with you right now so i gotta teleport her home because she should have just been sent into the stylist to get a tattoo um but clearly the game has other plans we really just need to go i'm like frantic right now because i don't have enough time in real life i don't have, have enough time in the game like this is just absolutely not a good situation okay so let's get some birthday cakes we also need to just summon over uh tyson and probably palmyra and that's probably all we're gonna have time to summon over because it takes them a while to get over here as well so let's just buy a birthday no i just put it oh my god where did i just put it why is this game so laggy i'm going to snap guys i I'm going to fucking snap. I cannot deal with this shit anymore and I cannot wait to fucking delete Island Paradise from my game, bitch. I don't even know where, where did the cake go? And why is there a plane going by? There's the cake, okay. It's inside the fireplace. Like, what is happening? Okay, put that back. Put the cake on the fucking countertop. Thank you, Jesus Lord. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're, we got there in the end. All right, so let's invite over Tyson and Palmyra now. 
and that's all we're gonna have time probably to invite over we don't even know if they're gonna show up like where's palmyra at Where, where'd she go palmyra 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 she should be right next to him tyson 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 palmyra there they are okay let's invite owen too because owen is our like family relation you don't have to do your homework buddy you're gonna you're about to age up anyway it's okay oh look at noel cleaning up all the dishes noel's like i don't want my house to be seen in this condition okay noel and ash are gonna age up in like 30 minutes tyson just never ended up showing up so i'm gonna just get everyone around uh the cake maybe they'll show up like as they're aging up but as it is right now we physically do not have time to wait for tyson and just everybody so we're gonna go in here and we are going to have noel blow out the candles on their birthday cake our air is aging up guys can we believe it our air is aging up i'm just uh, i'm just a shock I'm in, I'm in shock this is like we're so close to the next generation i can taste it we're so close to like into the future with noel oh happy birthday noel look how excited they are at least like they have all their friends and stuff around so yay happy birthday look at the family i love it it's so cute i love big familial parties like this and just like tight family relationships and i don't know why skip is laughing at their grandchild that is not nice oh happy birthday noel i can't believe you're aging up to a young adult guys into the future is so close i can taste it we are so close this is like the next big step happy birthday we're also getting our doorbell rung oh look who decided to show up oh okay sorry i almost missed it happy birthday noel yay oh my gosh oh my gosh oh they're so tall okay all right so their last trait which it might change coward <laughs> so they're gonna be ambitious eco-friendly great because they're socially awkward and a coward i feel like noel would be the most awkward person in real life maybe coward it makes sense okay anyway noel is super tall oh my god gotta love tall people okay so let's not oh oh okay so this is definitely gonna be subject to change but leader of the free world is like the first one that popped up on here so i guess i'll just give them leader of the free world but we need to sell this cake so that we can also age up ash double birthdays i feel like my birthdays always fall on the same day when i play this game i have no idea why also river is learning writing skill maybe river wants to write like write an autobiography or something like that um but look at that tyson and palmyra and stuff they all came on like the perfect amount of time i think we actually have to invite them in so i'm gonna quickly have skip go ahead no skip go and invite them in come on come on go ahead buddy oh wow uh ash blew up the candles super quickly that was fast um i didn't even get to catch him blowing up the candles that was it like he immediately did it that's fun anyway he's excited too happy birthday ash we have all of our family and stuff here to celebrate your birthday so don't even worry about it okay honestly the double birthdays are kind of a vibe i feel like we accomplished so much in these double birthday episodes happy birthday ash oh the double birthdays of it all and oh my god what are you wearing excuse me what are you wearing you're wearing a shirt that has fake overalls ew i hate her what the hell also why is there just this giant pile of dirty laundry just chilling in the kitchen gotta love that gotta love the sims anyway happy birthday to both ash and noel congrats guys i am so happy for you and we did it guys our heir of the next generation is a young adult we raised them up oh i'm so happy and now they want to get a job they immediately oh part-time job okay maybe they want to go back into being a mausoleum clerk maybe i shouldn't have had them quit in the first place you know i feel like that actually makes a lot of sense for noel to want to be a mausoleum clerk because if you think about it i think that they like to be by themselves and they're also kind of like awkward like they have the socially awkward trait and stuff like that so i think it makes sense for noel to want to go ahead and just be like by themselves just working like in the mausoleum or whatever but yeah we'll definitely have them be a mausoleum clerk i think that they were level two so i'm gonna give them their level two back because it is important okay we do get like extra money if they are level two so yeah i gave them the overseer of the dead uh level and yeah we should be good also i just really that Tyson and Palmyra, I think they got reset. I don't think they ever made it to our party, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I'm sorry if it was short. I like literally have to go to class, so I don't have enough time to record a longer part. Also, I feel like we pretty much accomplished what we need to accomplish, so I don't feel like that this, even though it was probably a shorter part, I'm not sure I don't have like the time offhand, um, but I'm, it was 
was a successful part. We did a lot. So, oh my God. No way, River and Martina. No way, you guys. We are going to end this episode with apparently a woohoo, which is just so River and Martina. It is just, I also can't have anyone take a slice of this cake. So I guess we'll just go ahead and sell it. I guess I'll just keep what Noel and Ash are wearing until the next generation. I know we've seen this outfit so much on Noel, but uh, I just don't have it in me to change your outfits and then change them again when we go ahead and into the future so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to send noel on home here i guess river and martina are gonna go and get it on oh maybe not i think they canceled yeah they canceled what they were gonna do so oh maybe not martina might pull him back into going and doing woohoo on skip's lovely bed Got it. yep wow okay so i don't know why but their favorite woohoo location is this bed I, I don't i have no idea why i literally can't tell you but they've done it here like four times so i think maybe river feels at home because um this is where his mom used to sleep um but I don't okay that was a weird comparison forget that I ever even said that <laughs> anyway guys I will catch you all in the next episode and peace out